Hey y'all, hey! It's time to go over my quarterly updates of what I spent in my special funds, i.e. sinking funds. If you want to see what I've spent, please Hey y'all, it's D. So, yeah, it is time for my quarterly update on what I spent out of my special funds for the first quarter of 2024. But before I go over that, I did want to go over um, a couple of church announcements. So, first of all, I did just release a new saving challenge, and this is the A5 saving challenge. And it's Tag Your It Savings. And Tag was one of my <laughs> one of my favorite games to play as a child. So this is a play on that. And this is the grown-up version where you can use this to help you save up for things that you want to go shopping for or what have you. So, yeah, y'all, um, it is April 1st that I am filming this video. I did also want to let y'all know that I will be having a Etsy sale for the month of April in honor of my late mother's birthday. So, she was born in april and i think that's everything i want to tell y'all so now let's get into how much money did i spend Ooh, okay wow. so first of all let me go over the special funds that i do have um, most people call them sinking funds but i prefer to call them my special funds and um, i like to keep my life um, as simple as possible so I don't have a lot of different category for my funds. I just like it to be as simple as possible. So I have an emergency fund, a general savings fund, and this is the fund I want to go to before I actually have to tap into my emergency fund. I have a vehicle fund, and this is for a purchase of a new vehicle way down the line. I have a renovation, car repairs, household, vacation, gifts, PTO, which is paid time off, estimated taxes, and treat yourself. And I think all of those are pretty much self-explanatory, but those are all my special funds and my local credit union and Capital One. So yeah, y'all, now let's see what I spent. So this is my special fund tracker that I created. This is available on my Buy Me A Coffee Shop. If you're interested in that, it has sinking funds on there instead of the special funds. So, this quarter was quite expensive for me. Um, it's not the normal, but things just pop up. And I had to spend out of my car repairs, my household, treat yourself, and gifts accounts. So, car repairs, um, I have a truck and a car, and my battery went out on my truck at the first of the year. So, I get a battery, and then I had to do some maintenance on my car and then y'all my battery on my car <laughs> went out so it was like two batteries in two months so yeah y'all but it is what it is and then I had to get some work on my HVAC unit I had to get them to come out um, and just service it um, so I can keep my warranty and then I had to get some duct work done and yeah y'all those are all the bigger expenses oh yeah then i had to pay 90 dollars towards my escrow because my escrow account was short for last year and instead of them increasing my mortgage by like 30 or 40 dollars i went ahead and paid this 90 dollars towards my escrow um this is why i am Firm believer in saving when you can because you never know what's going to come up. And these special funds have saved my life <laughs> in so many ways. And yeah, y'all just got to roll with the punches. And when you have extra money, save it uh, because you never know what's going to come up. Especially if you own a, own a home. Whoo, y'all. Homeowner is extremely expensive. So, yeah. Now let's tally up everything that I spent by category. So in my car repairs for the quarter, I actually spent a total of $513.76. And this is definitely not a normal for me. I usually don't spend that much in a quarter between my two vehicles, but gotta have a battery. <laughs> 
And for my household, I spent a total of $483.56. And this too is not normal for the beginning of the year for my household. It's usually about half that much, but you know, you got to do what you have to do. And also for my treat yourself. Now on Valentine's Day, I did treat myself. This is the first time that I went out to eat the whole year was Valentine's Day. I treated myself to some um, bowberry biscuits and they were shaped in the shape like a heart from um, Bojangles. And I went and got that for myself on Valentine's Day. It was like $2.93. So uh, I wanted to treat myself on Valentine's Day. So I did. And then I had my go-to purse broke. And I went and bought me a new purse. Um, and that was $20.69. So for my treat yourself, my treat yourself account, I spent a total of $23.62. Now for gifts, this First part of the year is really slow for gifts for people in my family and friends. So I did not spend that much. It was my big boy nephew birthday in February. And I spent a total of $30.04 on gifts in the first quarter. So yeah, how much total did I spend? So I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see a little better. Those are all my little categories that I spent and how much I spent. Our pairs, it was $513.76 plus $483.56 for household, $23.62 for treat yourself, and $30.04 for gifts. So, y'all see that? $1,050.98. Now, if I didn't have my special funds, all of this would have been on a credit card pretty much. A big chunk of this would have been on a credit card because I I just don't have money like that right now. So I am very, very thankful that I do have these special funds and I did not have to tap in into all of my special funds. I tapped into four out of, I think like a little over 10. Let me see. I had to use four out of... 12 of my special funds and if you don't get anything from this video save what you can i cannot say that enough because one thousand and fifty dollars and 98 cents on my income girl buy it would have been on a credit card <laughs> a lot of that would have been on credit card but like i said i'm very thankful that i do have the drive and motivation to save when I can because you know something always is going to come up so y'all that is my video I hope that y'all have a great April and like I said don't forget I have a sale going on for the month of April in my Etsy shop there is no code needed everything is already marked down and y'all don't forget to make the money but don't let the money make you and go out there and save that money, honey. All right, y'all. Bye.